Understanding, a chorus of protests, navigating expressions in English. Hello everyone, welcome back to our channel, where we make English language learning fun and engaging. Today, we're diving into a fascinating expression, a chorus of protests. It's a vivid phrase that you might come across in news articles, books, or discussions about social issues. So, let's unpack its meaning together and see how it's used in real-life contexts. By the end of this video, you'll not only understand this phrase but also be able to use it confidently in your conversations and writing. At first glance, a chorus of protests might conjure up images of people singing together. And you're not entirely off track. Let's break it down. Chorus. Traditionally, this word refers to a group of singers performing together, blending their voices in harmony. However, in a broader sense, a chorus can be any situation where multiple voices or sounds merge into a single, powerful force. Protests. Acts of speaking out against something, usually in the context of social, political, or environmental issues. Protests aim to make voices heard and bring about change. When we combine these two, a chorus of protests metaphorically describes a situation where there is a loud, unified expression of dissent or disagreement from many people. It emphasizes the collective power of these voices to impact or disrupt the status quo. Understanding a phrase means seeing it in action. Here's how a chorus of protests can be used. In news reports, the government's new policy was met with a chorus of protests from citizens who felt it was unfair. In literature, as the protagonist announced his controversial decision, a chorus of protests rose from the crowd, each voice echoing the other's discontent. In everyday conversation, when the school proposed cutting arts funding, a chorus of protests from students and parents alike ensured the program was saved. This phrase is especially powerful because it not only conveys the idea of disagreement but also the strength and unity behind that disagreement. It's not just one voice crying out in the wilderness, it's many voices, resonating together, demanding to be heard. Why is this expression, a chorus of protests, important for English learners? First, it's a great example of how English can use metaphor and imagery to convey complex ideas succinctly. Understanding such expressions enriches your vocabulary and enhances your ability to comprehend and participate in more nuanced conversations. Moreover, it reflects the importance of collective action and voice in societal discourse, a theme that transcends language and culture. By grasping these concepts, you deepen your understanding of not only the English language but also the values and dynamics that shape English-speaking societies. And that wraps up our exploration of a chorus of protests. We hope this video has illuminated the depth and richness of English expressions for you. Remember, language is not just about grammar and vocabulary. It's also about capturing and conveying the human experience in all its diversity. Thank you for joining us today. If you found this video helpful, please give it a thumbs up and subscribe for more content like this. Until next time, Keep learning and keep expressing yourselves boldly and creatively. Goodbye.